and welcome to the Tech Guys, episode six, five, four, three, two, one. It's somewhere Countdown. in that range. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, episode five. Yeah. The studio is hopefully not haunted this time. We're not going to eat any cat food. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a pretty average episode, I think. But we are going to review products. That is going to make it extraordinary. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think first upon the list, as always, it's new product time. I think it's new product time. Yeah. Depending on if uh, the intro decides to play. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. It must All work right. because it's snowing. Mm-hmm. It's got to be the only reason. Yeah, it's pouring out there. It is. Actually, is it pouring for snow? Dumping? I don't know. It's dumping snow? It's really coming down. down. There we go. That's it. It is precipitating quite heavily. But uh, the first product is one that you brought up and uh, one that you thoroughly enjoy, and I think Ben would appreciate it too. It's your Star Trek Enterprise pizza cutter. Going boldly where no pizza cutters has gone before. Mm -hmm. Is it though? Uh, yeah, well, maybe. It depends on what kind of pizza you make, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but it's well crafted. It's stainless steel design. And it's trekky. It is trekky. And it, I mean, it's by, Th I think Think Geek is actually the Think Geek. creator yep. of it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're the creator and distributor of it. So it holds true to the authentic design. Yep. I like how they have the uh, registry number engraved on the on the blade. NCC, yeah, absolutely. You got. Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Yeah. yeah, it's a real attention to detail right there, especially. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that, I mean, I'll pick one up probably. Why not? Good Christmas gift makes a good stocking stuffer for those of you at home. So uh, pick one up and give it to all of your loved ones because. Who doesn't love Star Trek for Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating for the holiday season? People who don't know what Star Trek is? Uh, no, even they'd like it. It's okay. a pizza cutter. You can't sure. lose. You can't lose with this one. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. But uh, I, I don't think that's the highlight of our new products. Uh, we also have the Canon EOS. Uh, let's see. I should know this. I just bought you it. Know it. It's not necessarily <laughs> a new product. It's no, new. it's actually it was actually released in 2008. Mm -hmm. It's, it's the Canon video. EOS Rebel T3, and it is a this is the 12 megapixel HD movie version oh, that oh. I picked up. Movie version. Yep. What separates that from the regular? Uh, it does 1920 by 1080p video, which is standard high definition, or well, not standard high definition, high definition, the standard for high definition video. Uh, at 30 frames per second, which is a little bit above par for what this, or the original model of this uh, mm -hmm. camera actually did. Do you know the size of the COMS sensor on it? COMS sensor is, let me see here, 12.2 megapixel, uh, megapixels, excuse me. Okay, well that's, yeah, that's just the resolution, but yeah, no, okay. No. Interesting. How do you like it so far? I have uh, only had to, go, only gotten to really toy around with it a little bit here and there, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty nifty little camera, pretty easy to use. Hmm. Yeah. Have you done anything cool with it yet? Not yet. I'm really looking forward to doing something cool, but we can do something cool right here in the studio right now. I think we can. Why don't you fire that thing yeah. up and show people what this can do, Tony? So. It's going to take a little bit of time to warm up, I suppose. Oh, oh look at right that. Right there. Let's now, uh, show them the camera operators today. Who do we have on camera? Let's see. We have our Morgan Lubin. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. I cannot see off the, oh, the screen right now because we're on HDMI out, but that is our Mor Morgan Lubin. And on, other, on our other camera is Seyun. Hey, Seyun. <laughs> Look at yeah. that. This is its, cool. oh. Oh, you just took a picture. Nope. No, you it didn't. just shuts down oh. after. It has like a little sleep mode. That'll be, I mean, that'll But happen. yeah, it's, uh, that was its actual output, live output. Uh, it actually, the video actually looks much better once you actually load it onto, say, your computer or mm -hmm. whatnot. So, yeah. Huh. Interesting. Very I mean, impressive, sir. Yeah. So, have you gotten to take any pictures with it yet? How do you feel I've about I've taken the... a few pictures. I, it was, I got it over the uh, Thanksgiving break, and mm -hmm. I got to take a few pictures of my family and stuff and just toying around with it. And Yeah, really high-quality pictures. And obviously, you're just using the default lens that comes with it right now? Yes, at the moment. I have not purchased, uh, purchased another lens. It's just the uh, base wide-angle lens. Yeah. So. So what do you, I mean, what do you plan on doing with it? I want to make a movie with it. A movie? At some point. 
I was thinking we make a music video for a next music week. Music video? Yeah. We'll try. I was thinking about like Facebook or something. Mm. What do you think? About what? About the music video? <laughs> about what we're well, talking about, Ben. About, uh, well, I know that, but... What do you think about uh, third world countries? And uh, this desk? And this desk? Yes. I'm not sure how the two are correlated. Uh, I'm not either. Uh, but what do you think about the music video idea, though? It has promise. <laughs> it has promise? It has promise, yes. I look forward to seeing it. Well, you're going to be in it, so. Huh? Yeah. We're going to force you to be in it. Yeah. You're going to be one of the stars of this music video, so. Mm. You've only forced me to do one other thing, and that was to eat cat food. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's going to. This is going to be a lot easier. Fans to loved swallow. it. Yeah, well. I hope Although so. I hope you don't actually swallow it. Why do you want to eat the camera? No, no. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a music video. We should put up a form on the website. We'll have a form on ndsubin.com slash the tech guys. So we'll put that up there. And we'll, so, I don't know, take suggestions for a music video idea? <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah. But I think uh, we have one other thing for this segment. And November's we'll over. Who won the No Shave November contest? Ben, definitely. Ben won the No Shave November contest. Yay! Do we have that count for our Let's Play segment? I'd say that counts week? as a win for the Let's Play segment. Yeah. Definitely. Beard. I mean, yeah. look at that. How, I mean, how long did that take the, you? Uh, I'm guessing all of November that took you, Ben. Mm -hmm. And yep. you beat us. Yeah. yeah. I know I shaved on the first, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me too, and this is what I've left, been left with. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so warm. Is it? Yeah, it, it is. must be nice actually being able to grow something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is, it is very warm, especially is they're forecasting the high on Friday to be negative four. Oh, uh, don't so say that. That's Fahrenheit. Yeah, don't negative four that. Fahrenheit. Minus so. four Celsius. What is that Celsius, is Adam? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I don't. I haven't. I haven't done Celsius since the negative temperatures hit. But uh, <laughs> Ben's the winner of the No Shave November contest. Woo! We are going to have a lot more coming up next, so stay tuned. going to be in a music video. The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SU TV news with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SU TV news on Cable One, Channel 14, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Deke's Pizza, prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deke's easy to use mobile app. NDSU, make Deke's your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deke's, great pizza that won't empty your pockets. Welcome back. I uh, think this segment's intro song should have been Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed yeah. because it's time for memes that need to die. 
this is a segment that we're going to be doing every few weeks or so, I'd say. Mm. Yeah. At least once a semester, yeah. I'd say. Of mm. memes that are overused online, uh, overused in general, or just And that just need to, to go with. away. Yeah, we're yeah. talking the lowest of the lows here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I mean, internet memes, what does meme stand for? It's it's just a recurring joke that appears over and over. It doesn't necessarily have to be on the internet. For instance, Tebowing was considered a meme for a time when yeah. people used to do the Tim Tebow pose that he always did when he made his touchdown. I do that all the time. Do you? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I fall asleep like that, actually. Really? Yeah, Tim Tebow would be so proud Quite of the me. stoic pose for a sleep, sleepy man. It's not easy. <laughs> it takes a lot of practice. But uh, yeah, so I mean, those are some examples of memes, I guess. but. We have four memes. I think it's four memes. Four memes that need to die. That need to die. This first one, I wouldn't say it entirely needs to die. It's not exactly a great meme, though. It, it's not high quality. No. I would say that's why it needs to die. It's, what does the fox say? Well, we're going to start with that one. Mm, well, oh, okay, it's a, we're it's with a four. list that goes. Yeah, OK, well, this is a music video meme. Well, I, I kind of like this song. Really? I, I've hated it since the first moment I, I heard just, it. I enjoy the song itself. I don't enjoy the lyrics. I don't get why everybody's so excited about it. No. What do you think, Ben? I mean, I've never heard of this before. You've never you heard, never of heard of this? this? It's no, I count been myself, everywhere. I count myself fortunate that I've okay. never heard of it. Yeah, you should, you should be. I wish I had your uh, blank slate mind right now. Yeah. Basically, it's a song about people who are too lazy to go and Google what Fox's calls sound like. Well, I think it's making fun of how there's the little barnyard toy from when you were a kid that makes the cow says moo. Yeah, because but those, are all, no fox. those are all domestic animals. Yeah. You don't domesticate foxes exactly. Well, you can. You just get hurt. Uh, have you ever heard of that? You want to back me up on this one? I don't think people really domesticate foxes. Maybe like as occasional pets, but. It's not a usual thing. I'd say the number of people domesticating foxes is equal to the number of people domesticating lions. True. It's a very okay, niche fair market. enough. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to go to Petco and be like, where's your fox food? <laughs> Are you? Uh, Tony, maybe. you've been trying this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you own a fox. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, Ralphie. Ralphie? Yes. I was expecting like Fire Fox or something. Or Star <laughs> Fox. Mozilla. Mozilla. Car Fox. <laughs> All right. And All then right. meme number three that needs to die is. The, oh, what's, what are shake. they? No, not no. Harlem Shake. McDonald's Although that shakes? is, because that's already dead. Is this uh, the twerking? First nope. world problems. First world oh, problems. Oh, first world problems, yeah. Sorry. I blanked on that one. I but like first world problems. They were funny at first, mm -hmm. but I think that they've gotten to the point now where they're not being used the way they originally yeah. were, and mm. people so. aren't, ah, uh, well, the two up there are actually decent examples of first world problems, unfortunately. Trying to spread cold butter on your toast in the bread ribs? <laughs> or, I'm too or I'm tired of eating at the restaurants that are near where I work. Here's a tip, don't keep your butter in the fridge. I don't yeah. know. True. That's yeah, I must admit, those are stupid. I mean, yeah. Those are stupid. Originally, they were really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and since then, like anybody, oh. Just went downhill. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. I fell on the sidewalk. America's awful. Mm. I don't know. That's, I mean, I'm sure there's one actually like that out there, but you can. I wouldn't doubt it. You can fall on the sidewalk in a third world country, too, but uh, I mean, I think it's time for that one to go. Nah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, third world countries, or first world problems, excuse me, needs to die. Needs to die. Yeah. Yep. Brace yourself. Brace it's yourself. Time for another meme that needs to die. Ned uh, Stark. Ned Stark, brace yourself. Man. Winter is coming. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this one just, it, it came out of nowhere kind of with the popularity of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. and then people just started using it badly. Yeah, we kind of This is, like, this is, this in the. This is the epitome of yeah. bad for them. Mm -hmm. Well, if done wrong, I agree they need to die, but the good ones, I think, should stay. I like the brace yourself, pumpkin flavored everything is coming. <laughs> I like that one. I bet if, like, the people who really get into Game of Thrones really like it. So. Oh, I, I love Game of Thrones, but I still want really? this one to die. There you go. So, I think we are. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. I just want the bad ones to die. <laughs> That's why the good ones can stay. The entire meme needs to die in order for the bad ones to go away. Oh. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's how this works. We have one more, though. And that is Doge. Doge, doggy. Doge. It's just a misspelling of Doge. dog from 4chan. And then someone decided to put text misspellings of a dog's, what they thought a dog's inner thoughts were, and it just, they makes no sense. Yeah. They applied, they, often it's just photoshopped the dog's face, photoshopped on various things. It's like a, a stroke in dog's face, too. Like yeah. A dog's eyes are usually not that far away from their ears, so. Well, no, that is a real dog. But they, that one's, if you look at the original, it's mm -hmm. shopped, so. Because hmm. the eyes, like the face is usually bigger, but. I think it's time for this one to die because yeah. it just doesn't make sense. No. I'm surprised it came into existence in the first place. I am know. too. I'm not. It's, it needs to die. We live on Earth. Living on Earth is going to get a lot easier too once we have our Kickstarter of the week. Next segment, stay tuned. The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SUTV News with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SUTV News on Cable One, Channel 14, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Jitters is the NDSU Campus Community's Coffee Hub. Conveniently located right next to campus, Jitters Coffee has a wide range of amenities, including comfortable seating, Wi-Fi, and an assortment of beverages. Jitters is here to meet your needs, whether you're looking to relax and socialize or study in a rich, active environment. Be sure to make your way over for your morning brew, a bite at lunch, or for a break between classes. Get your fix only at Jitters. Pizza. Prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deeks' easy-to-use mobile app. NDSU. Make Deeks your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deeks. Great pizza that won't empty your pockets. Welcome back. For those of you who just missed it, we had a laugh attack in the studio. I think you're, are you crying, Ben? Wilford no. Brimley had a sneak attack on Ben. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wilford Brimley images just pop up at random in here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know the guy that did the uh, dot be this test and supplies commercial. That and eat your oatmeal, uh, Wilford Brimley. I think, it, wasn't he like the Quaker Oats guy for the longest time? Oh, that makes sense. No, that's a was. picture of a Quaker. Oh. I thought that was Wilfred Brimley. Oh. I'm pretty sure he did the Quaker Oats commercial, though. I'm, Google it. We'll Google it later. During the next break, we'll laugh even more. <laughs> it's time for the Kickstarter of the week right now, though, so let's take a look at it. These animations are still cool three weeks later. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They never We're get old. No, they <laughs> They might get old, I guess. Our Kickstarter yeah. of the week is Plug Away. Plug Away. Your smart home on your smartphone. Oh, that's tricky. Ooh. Uh, and I guess to give a background on it, if anybody's familiar with the Nest thermostat for yeah. the iPhone or anything, it lets you control, this lets you control your plugins or plug-in adapters from your phone. Mm -hmm. So if you're in your living room and you install one of these into one of your roommate's rooms, uh, then you can you flip can their lights on and off. Mess with them. <laughs> or plug it into the same circuit as their <laughs> Xbox and really make them mad. Oh, that's just evil. Uh, don't take any ideas from us. See, now it would be better if you're trying to troll with this uh, equipment to plug it into the router, wireless router, and turn that on and off. Because oh, right. that'll annoy you more than the device turning off itself. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. 
But uh, well, then you can't <laughs> turn it back on because if you turn off your router, how are you going to get to it through Wi-Fi? Good point. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I'm Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Situation that all the way through. <laughs> oh well. So basically, it's a smart plugin. Yeah. And actually. Yesterday, when I looked at this originally, it had like 40 or not 47. It was at about 47,000. Mm -hmm. And today it's 5,000 higher at 52,000. Yep, so it's making a lot of a lot headway of, really quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're getting into the market. But I mean, there, there's other products like this in the market. They're not as inexpensive as this edition is. They mm -hmm. don't exactly list price on here necessarily. They don't have a price yet. But, I, but the fact that it's open source, mm -hmm. generally open source usually means cheaper? Not necessarily open source, but free. And uh, it has an, an open library that people I, can I use to integrate their products with. So uh, so all these different devices can just use one software. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is super important nowadays. Yeah, absolutely, it is. And especially if you try, want to try to use that in your uh, home and build your home around uh, a certain you know, API or yep. Exactly. Something like that. And then uh, it also lets you build like uh, custom designs for your own circuits, too. So you can do if-then statements within it, things like that. So if the router is on and the microwave is on, turn on iTunes or something. Because, <laughs> because I want to listen to music while I'm <laughs> microwaving Pop-Tarts or something. Well, the interesting things were uh, that it would turn off on and off your lights at uh, certain mm -hmm. times. So daylight savings time, it would automatically know that, oh, it's going to get uh, dark an hour earlier, so it'll turn on the lights an hour mm -hmm. earlier is one of the interesting things I read about uh, use for it. Or like with kids, waking, up your ki waking yourself up with your own lights yep. or something, having your lights turn off on at your alarm clock's time. Not a bad deal at all. No. And I think one of the <laughs> other cool features of this, uh, of this product isn't necessarily that it's you can control them, but you can control how, mu how many volts are going through. So you can dim your lights through them. You can do other little things like that through them. Hmm. Yeah. OK. So, And I feel like we're cheating out half of the Kickstarter here, because the other half of it is, well, they had the light bulbs they were making. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's smart They're, light bulbs. Oh, yeah. I, for I completely forgot about the light bulbs. Different colors, mm -hmm. different. You can create different cool little light shows I saw with uh, one of the programmers that was working on it was uh, showing off. Yeah. It was just a light show. Absolutely. And the Philips Hue does the same thing, uh, yeah. if you're familiar with that. Yep. There are light bulbs that are actually really well integrated in applications today, even like the app we're going to re review later today, Exoplanet. The Philips Hue API package is already integrated with it. So we'll see how far it goes. I, I'm going to pick one of these up once they come to market, just because it's going to be so handy. What do you guys think? Okay, I yeah. think I'll let you handle it. And then based on what you say, I might actually consider it. I'm going to plug one into your house and <laughs> turn your lights on and off. You're not coming time. anywhere near my house. Yeah, well, good <laughs> luck trying to stop me. But uh, we will be right back. And I think it's time for Let's Play. So we're going to be playing Friday. The game. It's Friday. 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 Get down Friday. Jitters is the NDSU Campus Community's Coffee Hub. Conveniently located right next to campus, Jitters Coffee has a wide range of amenities, including comfortable seating, Wi-Fi, and an assortment of beverages. Jitters is here to meet your needs, whether you're looking to relax and socialize or study in a rich, active environment. Be sure to make your way over for your morning brew, a bite at lunch, or for a break between classes. Get your fix only at Jitters. Hey, I'm Mariah, and I'm at bus because not only does it save me money, but with 20 different routes, it makes getting around Fargo much more convenient. I'm at bus. Do you? Deke's Pizza. Prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deeks' easy-to-use mobile app. NDSU. Make Deeks your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deeks. 
great pizza that won't empty your pockets. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Monday, and that means it's time to play Friday for our game of the week. Yeah. Or let's play, I should say. Although we didn't actually play. Uh, no, it's kind of a walkthrough, but it's a let's play segment, so... It's an interesting little adventure game, homage to the homage. original adve adventure games. Let's run that intro, I guess. Friday the game. Let's, uh, I mean, let's just start it rolling right away so we can go over it. For those of you who don't know, the popular music video Friday by Rebecca Black. There should be audio here, actually. I can't hear it, but uh, there we go. It's kind of, they did the Friday song in 8-bit. So it's a text-based adventure. You have to type in what you want to do. So type in closet to go into the closet, stairs to go down the stairs, bathroom to go into the bathroom. Uh, but it Why doesn't... Why does Rebecca Black look so sad? Uh, because her hands are dirty. You have to be styling, so you gotta, like, put on your dress and stuff. <laughs> but this game is tricky. Uh, like, if I would have typed in hanger there, I think, like, there's some way that the hanger would have killed me. Oh, see, I, yeah. I, went, I typed in shower. And, there's uh, just a ton of ways to die in this game for some reason. Yeah, absolutely there are. I, I didn't realize it's Friday fun. was so dangerous. Every day is dangerous. Or getting my bowl. Back. So, uh, I mean, it's just, you have to figure out what to do. So, it, I mean, it gives you, like, some help. You gotta be fresh, you gotta be styling, you gotta have cereal. All parts of the song. <laughs> <laughs> I may have helped out. Oh, look at that. Oh, I typed in to use the computer. And apparently I made a viral music video. <laughs> oh, okay. I win. I mean, that's not actually how you win the game, though. It isn't? No. No? Even though you win a bazillion dollars? Yeah, a bazillion. Oh, Bieber Justin Bieber. <laughs> I'm a believer in Justin Bieber. Mm. So, I mean, you can't go outside. It won't actually let you go outside until you do this stuff, so. Uh, so you have to go and eat breakfast. Take milk. Okay, so I got the milk, now what do we do with it? Uh, let's pour the milk. Oh, look at that, okay. So you have to like really drill down and explain things. Mm -hmm. What kind of cereal should I take? Peanut butter or chocolate? Uh, I believe, isn't she allergic to the peanut butter one? Eh, too late. <laughs> let's eat it. Let's eat that cereal. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah she's allergic to peanut butter. Uh, oh. Good news for... The world. The world? Oh, uh, she's not actually dead. Should we have included Friday during the memes that needed to die? Wait a minute. Why would you have peanut butter cereal if you're allergic to it? Why do you keep that in your house? Maybe your younger brother likes peanut butter cereal. Uh, well, that sounds kind of dangerous. So you may notice we have to flush the toilet here. Oh. Uh, if you toilet try and... Humor. You have to wash your... Oh, you have to wash your hands. But if you do that, the toaster's plugged in, so you'll die. I don't know where all of your skin goes. Apparently, when you get electrocuted, you lose all of that. I mean, that is just classic Tooney, Looney Tunes logic, right da, da, there. Da, da, I mean, da, 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 you didn't know that, Adam? No. Did you know that, Ben? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Master of logic. So we're gonna flush the toilet. Okay. Uh, what should we do next? I don't know. I just. Let's type some stuff in here, I guess. Wash, dress, in toilet. Why not? Oh, look at that. Wow, cool. Yeah, that, why does that work? Uh, <laughs> here's a good fashion tip. Put your to your dress in the toilet to wash it and then dry it in the toaster. Good fashion tips from the tech guys. Jeez. Who needs a washing machine when you have a toaster? Yeah. A toaster, uh, toilet. That's it. Uh, 
Well, it spins. It does the same basic motion, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Put that infinite spin cycle. Just keep pushing that lever. Yeah. All right, so now we're, we're not going to eat... Okay, don't eat the peanut butter cereal. Eat the chocolate cereal. Let's open it. Okay, let's eat that cereal. We're ready for the day now. You have to say eat it with a spoon, too. Otherwise, like, you'll try and eat it with your hands. And I think that kills you. How does that kill you? Uh, good question. <clears throat> so don't go on the computer. We will win the game, but not the way we're supposed to. Uh, so we're going to brush our teeth. No, uh, I think we need to wash our hands here. But the toaster's going to kill us. Use soap. OK, yep, there's soap. And we just got an award for typing something in incorrectly? Makes sense? No. I don't get it. I'm kind of stuck here. Soap? Anything with soap? Uh, I guess at least the music's good, kind of. It's 8-bit, so... Let's wash hands with soap. No. Can't... Okay, so I typed in, put toaster on floor. That didn't work. Take toaster, not working. Very particular. Yeah, but uh, I actually had to Google. I had to Google this one. You have to just type in toaster. So uh, at some point here, I get less confused, and I type in toaster. But uh, I mean, this game really particular. I wasn't. A, I wasn't a fan of that. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of the old King's Quest games. Anybody ever play those? Like no. You type your own adventure games? Or you type in the adventure? Hmm. Like you'll say, walk across bridge, and you walk across the bridge. Makes yeah. sense. I mean, it's as particular as those old games. It's programmed in Flash, but, uh, can't, well, okay, well, I guess I tried to wash my hands with soap, and I got electrocuted. Average day for me. Yeah. Let's start this again. Uh, so, closet. So you have to go through these motions every time you die. Kind of annoying. Yeah. But, so we're... No those. checkpoints in Friday, I guess. No. Uh, well, I mean, YOLO. Hashtag LMAO. <laughs> hashtag YOLO. Hashtag YOLO. Okay, so I feel like we should have just gone into the world with our dress all wet like that, but no, we're not going to. Okay. Well, you can't. you got to be fresh. you got to have well, cereal. That's true. So, I can't take the toaster down, I can't do any of that stuff. Put toaster on floor, no. So what you have to do is just type in toaster. I don't like ruining surprises for anybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna... But this game is just so particular. Friday the game, not a huge fan of it. One out of ten, or what, what rating scale? We gotta win the game first. Well, you gotta win the game. There's a lot I of think you've played it already. Right. What's your What's your take on I it? I mean, uh, I would say it's probably a two out of ten, three out of ten. Okay, I mean, they do homage in the music, like the actual remix mm -hmm. of Friday is pretty good. So, okay. like music wise, I'd say it's probably a solid seven out of ten. Aside from that, I'd say probably a five out of ten. Wash hands, soap, sink. Okay, so, sweet. So we just got rid of the toaster. Let's go downstairs, let's eat our cereal. Let's not eat the peanut butter cereal, that will kill us. Open the fridge. Open the fridge. Open the fridge. Open the fridge, there we go. And grab that milk, put it in the bowl. You don't actually have to type everything, so you can just like type milk bowl, mm. and it'll parse it automatically. It's just keyword, keyword based, I'm assuming. Yeah. So let's uh, take that chocolatey cereal. Like I said, there's a lot of secrets in the game, so. If you explore it, pretty fun. What do you think so far, Ben? Like, is this a game you're gonna go home and stay up all night playing? <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, should we get in the front seat or the back seat? Mm. Uh, front. Oh, cool, I picked the right one. Uh, that was a complete guess, by the way. If you get into one of the seats, you die. I think it's the back seat that you must die at, so. Uh, yeah, we won. We won. I'm confused, but OK. Well, <laughs> next up, Wilford Brimley, the video game. Actually, there is a Wilford Brimley video game, so. There is? Yeah, I know what we're doing. Next week. Wilfred Brimley week. 
No, Holiday, <laughs> Holiday Wilford Brimley, he's kind of like Santa Claus. Kind of. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. He brings little children their diabetes testing supplies. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, but Friday the game, like I said, <laughs> overall, 5 out of 10. Not a great game, but like, if you're really, really bored. Let's give it a 2. A 2? Tony's going 2. What do you think, Ben? Half. Half? Ouch. That hurts. Yeah. Well, only half. What leads you to these results? I mean, I'll just... Yeah. I just feel... As... Just, it's just not my kind of game. No? You don't like Rebecca Black, isn't that it? No, it's just... I want things to work the first time through, oh. and with this, you it's die all, every... It's all about exploring. You die every, like, <laughs> two minutes. And there's no checkpoints, so you have to do all that stuff again. Well, in the game's defense, it is really short, so... You have to do everything again. In the game's defense, it's also made as a joke. Yeah, that's kind true. Kind of with an ironic wink and a nod. Yep. To that genre and to the silliness of Rebecca Black's video. Yep. Just... I'll take your word for it. So overall, thumbs down across the board. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't play this game unless you're really bored. But, uh, even then don't. Even then don't play it. No. Just watch the music video with earplugs in or something. We'll be right for back. For shame for if you shame. watch it. For shame. This next app of the week isn't going to be for shame though, so stick around. The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SU TV news with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SU TV news on Cable One, Channel 14, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Deke's Pizza. Prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deke's easy-to-use mobile app. NDSU. Make Deke's your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deke's. Great pizza that won't empty your pockets. Much apps, doggy. No, remember so we want app. this to die. We want that to die. Oh yeah, I should probably shouldn't. We should have thrown the Friday meme on there. Thinking mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, but hindsight, 2020. Hindsight is 2020. So is the vision this app gives you. Yeah, that's actually what I was thinking Time too. For the app of the week. Yeah. Time for the monitors to fade out behind us because we're cool like that. Yeah. It's time for the app of the week. Yeah. As pictures float in behind us, of polar bears and it's the uh, polar bear channel now. You are yes. now watching the tech polar bear guys. Mm. Uh, this week's ag app is Exoplanet. Uh, we had a video prepared of it to kind of guide us through it. I don't know if it made its way into the server or not. So let's take a look at it actually. Oh, there we're back. Well, we're back <laughs> online. So this is an application called Exoplanet. It's mm -hmm. a space exploration application, free on the App Store, with several in-app purchases. Tony, I think you had a chance to look at it. Ben, did you have a chance to look, look around at it? It makes me feel trekky, just uh, looking at it. It's a very trekky app. 
it's a pretty big application. And of course, since I was recording my screen, it's a little bit laggy. It's really smooth on its own. Um, so go check it out. Free in the App Store. It uses parallax, so that's a fun little feature of it. But it basically gives you a, a catalog of every known planet in our solar system and outside of it. So. Found by NASA or by? Found by separate parties. So for example, okay. uh, usually the name of the planet is by the discovering party. I don't know what ROXS stands for, to be honest. I'm guessing that's Well, at a certain point, they stopped naming the planets because they found so many of them. I exactly. Assume. Well, yeah. The KOIs are Kepler Object of Interest. So those aren't necessarily confirmed planets, but this is a planet that but was confirmed. But they're possible. Yep. Okay. This one was confirmed today. It's by direct imaging. That's very rare. Well, not very rare, but it's pretty rare to see a planet that you can actually take a picture of. Hmm. So just something pretty cool. Uh, yeah, usually they have to confirm planets by waiting for them to go across their sun, correct? Yeah, gravitational microlensing, yeah. which uh, basically detects a shift in the amount of light that comes from a planet or uh, from a sun. So. Uh, it's got virtual reality like a few other space applications out there have, so you can look up at the sky and see different planets or see uh, s different stars. So when you sky. say that, you mean you hold your camera up to, uh, with your phone up to the sky and that's what you can see, or? You, uh, yep, you hold your phone up to the sky and it'll automatically zoom in to the planet Earth and you can see all the stars around you right huh. here. So, that's pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. The uh, big red gap right there, that's where the Kepler satellite was pointed at for a long time. And that's where all of the currently known Kepler objects of interest are. So uh, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty cool area to look at. But overall, it's more of an exploration tool. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Actually, let's start with a tour, I guess. So this is our solar system. Uh, I've purchased all of the add-ons except for the ad blocker. Uh, so each of them are like 99 cents to $2 each. So I can see all the asteroid be belts and things like that. And uh, I cannot download my iTunes songs, apparently. <laughs> I had Do Not Disturb mode and everything on during this recording, too. So uh, I find that odd. But um, it's a 3D map of the locations of all the nearest stars in our galaxy and even out of our galaxy. I mean, the fact that you can do this in general kind of baffles me, to be honest. Yeah. The fact that you're able to do this just on your phone. Mm -hmm. is so each of these dots that we're seeing right now are galaxies. Is a galaxy. Is a galaxy. Not just a. Yep, so these and are then, all And then the, scrolled out all the way, you're looking at our known universe. Yep, and that's like 126 billion light years. Yeah. So that's a long distance. And this is the uh, cosmic microwave background. So that's. Uh, Remnants from when the universe was 100,000 years old still. So that's the original echo of the uh, noise back then. So you can yeah. tell how hot or how cold certain areas were. Which makes you feel very, very small. Oh, we are very small. Well, it is on a very, very small phone. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, snap. So it should make you feel nice and big. Tony got you there. Oh, well, compared to we're a small <laughs> being on a big planet in a big solar system in a big galaxy, which is just a very small dot. It's started from the bottom. No? Sure. Nobody else is going to Started no. from the bottom, now we're here? Yep. And yeah, nobody else is going to help me sing that? It's cool, didn't. guys. Leave hmm? me hanging. No, but Exoplanet, free app on the App Store. Free app, but add-ons cost a little bit. Add-ons cost a little bit. You don't need the add-ons. Uh, for example, if you own the Kepler application, which is like $2.99, mm -hmm. uh, it'll recognize that and you'll get the Kepler objects of interest for free. So. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Overall, worth it. Very worth checking out. Uh, why not? It's free. Yeah. You have no reason not to check it out. Yeah. Ben's downloading it right now. Look at that. <laughs> He's not actually, but No. Oh, I thought he, he actually be. was. And I was going to be like, high five, Ben. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So, get it now. Overall, best part of the show today? Favorite thing? Uh, memes that needed to die. Yeah, I think we're going to do that one again. Mm. Yeah, what do you think, Ben? I like the Kickstarter. Kickstarter was pretty cool, Kickstarter too. Kickstarter was cool, too. I'll tell you what, my favorite part is going to be that music video we make next week. Be sure to check us out online, ndsubin.com. Go to the Tech Guys section, and be sure to send us your feedback on that page. Thank you very much, and have a great week.